It's that fabulous time of year that I love so much when Mars and Mercury and the Sun enter Scorpio. And traditionally, it's known as the time of a kind of veil being thin between the worlds. And I love this time of year. It's like creepy and scary and there's haunted houses down in town at the Masonic Lodge today where the rest of the month they have blood drives. <laughs> so my topic um, today is how to enjoy that haunted house that we're in Hades, right? And when you come here, your carnage, your carne, your incarnated in a meat suit in the hell realm. And <clears throat> I had a very interesting session yesterday with someone who is living in the hell realm in Utah, <clears throat> as close to the Zionist hell realm as possible. <laughs> and I, you know, it was like, it was interesting because she had watched all my material, but it was like terrifying to talk to me because I'm not afraid of the haunted house hell realm. And I just want to remind everybody that I'm a librarian. So when I'm putting up posts about um, the heavy metals that are highly magnetic and self-organizing in our bodies, um, I'm just reporting. Like My nervous system is not worried about this. And there's a lot of people who get quite concerned about this, but it's because they haven't accepted still where we are. And it's a very simple thing, folks. If you know that we're in the Demiurge and that we're dead here, then you don't have hangups. You don't have hangups with what the sky looks like. You don't have hangups with what they're putting in the water. You don't have hangups. You don't have hangups with using PayPal. <laughs> because the whole fiat currency is black magic anyway. So who cares if PayPal has some weird terms to their agreement? <laughs> the whole thing is an agreement of the Demiurge. Everything. So if you get hang-ups here, that's how it gets you. You're dead. Okay, you're a corpse here. You're part of the corporation here uh, of the Demiurge. So, um, if, you know, people are really like, how do you find so much humor? It's because I know where we are. So I'm going to go into a bit of spirit, you all life, spirit, you all life, and what to do here in your last round, if it is your last round in the meat suit. And at my understanding is that this is the last round of the meat suit and that, you know, the upload to the singularity is happening right now. And that's why when Claude and I go out at night and we are walking around the lake, you know, half moon pond, and there's not a single light on in any house, it's because there's nobody there, right? So here in New England, it's a super creepy haunted house right now because they've done all these inserts of like traffic and tourists and persons, persons, person A and person B and person C, who are the non-source players while they um, are exiting a whole lot of people to the singularity. Now, I don't have concerns about being exited to the singularity because every time I've ever left, I go right to the void. So I also want to indicate to you, I've never seen the machine elves, even though I have made a video about the machine elves to show you if you do go into that wormhole technology and meet those dig digital, they're not real elves, okay? They're, they're just called that by Terrence McKenna. But if you meet those digital things, who cares? It's like, are you going to believe them any more than you believe the person who identifies as the president? I mean, I don't believe him either. And I'm not 
doing what he wants me to do. So, I mean, I could get arrested as a domestic terrorist soon. So I want you all also to know that your personal emails that you keep sending to me, the National Security Agency has them all. So I, that's why I'm always saying, stop sending me personal emails with your personal stuff. Delete that now, because as soon as I get it from you, I delete it. So that's why you'll get, um, you know, session information for me saying stop sending me personal emails do you not realize everything here is under surveillance certainly me because when i posted a blog from uh three physicists today that have already proved we're in a simulation and we've known that i mean forever you know um <clears throat> when they proved that it was holographic and it was based us on us seeing the particle and entangling with that particle, that was removed from my Facebook account because I'm under surveillance. I, you know, so you got to realize my friend Ken Raj Leslie, who first posted that, his didn't get taken down from Facebook because he's a professor in academia. So they know who I am. So if I put something up, I mean, I have a heck of a time putting some, something up on YouTube, like what I posted yesterday about microwaves. And I edited it five times. And every time I would go back and I had another stupid spelling error because that's how they waste my time. And they try and like get me, you know, because my accessory is not supported <laughs> with my phone. You know, that one week that I got hit really hard, I think it was after the strategies for the last supper video. Um, my phone kept saying accessory, not supported, accessory, not supported. And so I bought new cords and new like plugins and got all this new stuff to see if like my cord was wrong. And I realized the accessory not supported is me. <laughs> so do I get scared and go, oh my gosh, you know, my f AI is on to me. I go, oh, no, let's see what you got. Oh, accessory not supported. So they hit Claude pretty hard too, and that was terrifying. But, you know, I enjoy the haunted house that we're in. I even enjoy my terror of the haunted house. And Claude was quite scared for a couple of weeks because they were hitting him quite hard and he had a sleep paralysis. And we were like, okay, honey, let's see if they'll kill you. Because if they kill him, he's on the outside, all right? And that's what I was trying to say in my last video. Yes, the mass extermination is going on. Yes, we can see the NASA death document that they wrote for 2025. We can see the Deagle report. We can see several other FEMA reports for weather warfare, um, you know, for 2025 and crisis for climate change. Uh, you know, probably this video was, will be my last one. So I'm always like pushing the envelope to see, you know, is, are they going to take me down now? Are they going to take me down now? So that is my spirit, you, all life. Do you think I meditate? Not anymore, folks, because I'm already in that state of awareness. Meditation is just about quieting the mind. I, I, I am already like that. I don't need to cross my legs and I can't anyways because my knees dislocate, <laughs> which is perfect. So then I'm not like worried that my body is not functioning. I'm going, oh, it'll be very interesting if I'm like, in a wheelchair, what will it be like if I'm imprisoned in a wheelchair? I, you, if you're worrying about that, you're hung up in the dream with some kind of worry about being further imprisoned. I mean, you're already imprisoned. Who cares if you end up in a wheelchair? <laughs> you know. So that's how I get through um, most everything is I go, wow. I mean, Claude could be having a heart attack right now. Let's see what happens. And we already discussed he did not want to go to the doctor. He did not want to go to the emergency room. We were just going to stand by and see if they actually killed him. So I think what I'm going to call this video is don't fear your second death. You're already dead here. Don't fear your second death. I mean... And, and I know because I have a lot of experience with elders 
that the body technology that we're in, you know, the meat suit is created for that loose feed of like terror of the second death. Um, I know because I have clients who are like, you know, do, like taking so many drugs to try and lower their blood pressure. I'm like, why? Why? You, I mean, first of all, it's in the script when you're going to leave. So I don't care how many cigarettes you smoke. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I had this one client who um, she's like feeling so bad that her mom died and she couldn't get her to stop smoking and she died of some lung condition. And I looked at the chart and I gave her the exact death, death date for her mother, her mother's second death. And she was like, you mean it was already written? Like, so it didn't matter if she smoked? I'm like, it doesn't matter. I mean, we've all heard these stories of people who are 125 years old who are eating fried chicken and drinking Coca-Cola and smoking. And, and so you people, it's your entanglement with this thing that you think you're alive that causes the problems. You're so stressed out. You got like high blood pressure and stuff. And, you know, so I'll be all over the place with this video because we've got the, the sun transitioning across my ascendant degree, which is Libra. So that's the other thing I want to tell you. At 2959 Libra, uh, I, I always hold both sides. So people who really get angry at me, it's because they're polarized. They're polarized because they want it a certain way. You know, don't tell us, Lalita, that there's going to be a mass extermination and yet they don't really want us to die. You, you can't hold both of those. Then you, the Wetiko or the Wetiko has got you then. Okay, the psychic influence of evil has got you. Because if you can't hold this possibility and that possibility at the same time, you're lost in the demiurge. You're lost in the polarization. That's why I can always look at this and this at the same time, okay? And that's what I suggest you do for your spirit, you all life, um, is to look at both sides. Say that you're terrified that your back child support um, payments it, are going to end up, you know, you won't have a driver's license or you won't have your um, passport or you'll be put in prison or whatever. And I'm like, well, we're already prison. We're already prisoners. Why don't we, <laughs> why are you afraid of going to prison? Jason of Archaics did for, I don't know how many years until he cut a deal and they let him out as an MK ultra. You know, he has the Saturn Nessus conjunction of the rapist anyways. So I'm sure it was easy to make a deal with him and then download him with as many chronologies into his DNA as possible, which was already proven by George Church and his whole institute that the human is a downloadable program. That's what your body is. And you can download like every book in the whole library into your DNA and spew it back. So I guess I want to talk about that too. So people get really freaked out, like that this guy is saying something about 138 years in the Phoenix grid. I don't care. I'm not talking about that. Do you realize? I'm talking about a Nessus Saturn conjunction and Nessus being a dark red on the spectrum. It's called RR, very dark red object in the sky that has to do with um, murder and extermination. So I, you, people, I am not talking about the Phoenix grid. That's an entirely separate situation. And I'm, what I heard was they already took the Phoenix grid down. So that's, I'm not looking at that at all. I'm looking at the NASA document, the Deagle report, the FEMA documents, and several, several other things that the human and Jonathan Mercedes works um, that, you know, the humans, particularly the RH positive group, are useless and they're going to be gotten rid of. In fact, I also saw um, from Jonathan's post that he's not particularly interested in the O negative or the B negative either because he considers those the adrenochrome eaters. And I made copies of all of that stuff because he's got all the lists of the hunting um, from those groups. 
I don't believe him either, but I can hold this and I can hold this, you see? So I, I am not talking about the Phoenix grid, people. I am talking about the object Nessus, which is very dark red, that has 122.11 year orbit that will meet Saturn in Pisces, and Pisces is the sign of the collective, okay? Saturn being the planet, uh, the Grim Reaper. And there's nothing to do, folks. I mean, I'm a librarian, so I'm reporting on that NASA document. And I put up the picture of the writer of that document. He looks like an Anunnaki to me. And he's been writing this stuff about getting rid of the humans for a very long time. So what? I want to leave. So I, I'm like, well, let's enjoy the haunted house while we can. I'm never coming back here because the next upload is to the singularity of a cyborg race that lives in a virtual reality. We're already in a virtual reality, but right now you can exit by letting go of the meat suit. When that time comes, I'm not going to avoid it. I mean, I'm not going to the emergency room. I'm not getting mammograms. I'm not getting my cervix looked at. I'm not checking my blood pressure. Like people, who cares? I mean, to me, the, the whole thing is, we're going to die. We're going to die. And I'm going, we're already dead. Hey, look, we're going to die again. Hey, let's see how that happens. So if you can't hold both, you're lost here then you are giving that loose feed. And I also wanted to say, I posted on the Lita Astrology, they took down Nessus this week from astro.com. I'm a paid client at astro.com. So Claude immediately sent them an email and said, you know, my, my uh, partner who's a professional astrologer who pays for your site is wondering why you took Nessus down. They didn't take Chiron down. They didn't take Pholus down. They didn't take Ixion down. They didn't take Haumea or Eris or Chiriclo down. Those are all still there. Why did they take Nessus down? Because the astrologers are now seeing that we're going to have this Nessus object, which always equals <laughs> murder, okay? In fact, a client that I had yesterday... Um, who has Nessus conjunct the ascendant. So I was telling her, you know, that uh, it doesn't uh, go well with that. And she said she's been kidnapped in every single circumstance of her life and she doesn't know who to trust. I think that's excellent. Why do you need to trust anyone? I mean, that right, right there, you, you're setting yourself up to be like hung up in the demiurge realm. You don't need to trust anyone. You don't need to trust your own partner. You don't need to trust your dog. You don't need to trust your children. You don't need to trust the government. Why do you need to trust anyone? Okay, so the, if you get all like hung up in this place, that's where you entangle with the particles and make it more real. Then you're not defunding the matrix. You're not the uncreated void, <laughs> okay? So, I mean, I so she wanted to know if I could see in her chart um, when she was actually kidnapped um, and under the threat of murder. And I said, yes, it was May 15th of 2021, because that's when Nessus was on your midheaven. Um, uh, <laughs> putting energy geometrically into the magnetics of your T-square. So for her, she, she she's going, you know, something terrible goes on here. Yeah, well, if you do get kidnapped, you know, if FEMA comes today and takes me because I'm one of the 100,000 known families of um, what he called, what Bill calls uh, us the Patriots. We're not the Patriots. Bill is calling us the Patriots in his book, which I suggest you read, except I'm always concerned if you read this book, you're going to believe it instead of have discernment about it. Behold a Pale Horse, where Bill who was a former naval intelligence officer, um, tells about the tribulation plan. Okay, it's been a plan for 6,000 years, people. They've been planning the tribulations and the upload to the singularity for 6,000 years since the Draco invasion. And now they're doing 
massacres on Mount Hermon. So I'm like, do you not see it, people? I mean, it just, this is, this is what this place is. So don't fight it. But anyways, in Bill's book, he talks about the underground um, uh, place called Mount Weather just outside of Bluemont, Virginia, 46 miles west of Washington, D.C., that is a restricted area in which the real government that they consider themselves the real government of the bloodline families exists underground. And he tells quite clearly about this whole thing and that Congress has never been able to get a hold of what is going on down there. But the, the, the whole thing is an underground base of the bloodline families. Um, and in this book, he also says, you know, they, they got rid of the Constitution when, once they declared an emergency. And who declared that emergency? Hmm, the trumpet. <laughs> because he has been crowned from the line of David, which is the bloodline family of the Jesuits. Do you understand? There's the Jesuits and the Zionists. And the Jesuits are those bloodline families who believe in the blood sacrifice cult of Jesus Christ. I already told you that the two Yeshuas were never sacrificed, but there is a blood sacrifice cult based on the drinking of the blood and eating of the body. And so <laughs> then you got the Zionists in Utah who are also have their whole underground everything that's going on over there under Mormon City. And they know who we are were considered the spirited beings. And what Bill says, and what I was trying to explain in my last video, but so many people get polarized, they can't hold the two concepts. Yes, there is, of course, the mass extermination going on, but the spirited beings are known. And Bill said that they will come and pick you up basically on a holiday because they'll know you you're at home. Well, I've never celebrated holidays because I know what they are, right? They're going to pick you up on Thanksgiving. <sighs> Why are you having Thanksgiving? Why are you following this, this cult program here? Well, go ahead if you want to. But since FEMA has taken over and we have no constitutional rights and many of us have sold our GMO patent to the DOD because of taking something experimental, um, you're already owned here. So if they show up today <laughs> or around Thanksgiving, which I don't even know when that is, um, so what? Then you're going to get taken to the underground weird penitentiary and I'll be like, oh, this place is really interesting too, <laughs> you know? So that's how I do it, people, and that's my spirit, you all, life. And as long as we're here, I do what a physical human can do. I start a fire every day. I pick, you know, I dig root vegetables. <laughs> I eat root vegetables. Uh, you know, I, fr I fry them up. I bake them. Uh, I make them into soup. I mean, I do what a human, that's my spirit, you all life. Who's my guru? Should I call her? She's my little dog. Who's my guru? Who's my teacher? Here's, her, here's my spirit, you all plan. Stay off the internet as much as possible and follow a little scrappy dog around. She's my guru. She's going to go out and roll in a dead snake. And I go, Bleh. oh. Maybe I should do that too. <laughs> you see, I mean, people, we are only here for so long and I'm never coming back again. And what is the carrot, right? What is the carrot that they will hold to get you to come back is more entertainment and the dummy urge. That's all more entertainment here. So do everything that you can. I know I've already said this in some video, but maybe it got taken down. But years ago, I was invited as a guest lecturer at a private uh, college uh, where my friend Tracy was a teacher. And the topic was how to know God. 
And you should never let me on stage at these things, which is why I'm no longer a teacher and I'm not a professor, even though I have the degree to be. Um, <clears throat> and so I got up there, right? And here's all of these like freshmen and sophomore students, how to know God. Oh, she's look, look at, she's going to tell. And I said, <clears throat> how to know God is to break all the commandments. <laughs> they were like, what? And I said, you know, you know, because that's what Yaldabaoth does is he breaks his own commandments. This is a place of sin, right? <laughs> so they were like, you've murdered someone. And I was like, of course, so have you. I mean, as soon as you incarnate here, you show where your mother's death is or your father's death. I murdered my father. When are you not going to get where we are? This is the slaughterhouse realm, people. My father's death is in my chart. I'm his murderer. Plus the fact that every time you drink milk, you murdered a cow because every time you drink milk, because I was raised on a dairy farm, that little boy is put in a pen until the butcher comes with a trailer, puts all the little boys <laughs> in a pen, and goes to slaughter them. And, I, you know, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to drink soy milk. Oh, you're not murdering anything if you drink soy milk. Look, I'm a farmer. All you're doing is murdering. You're digging up toads. You're digging up uh, worms. You're digging up salamanders. You're digging up... Did I already say moles? <laughs> you know, you're, there's nothing but murder going on here, people. We're in H-E-L, okay? We're in Hades. And the key to Hades is not to fear the second death. Because if you don't fear the second death, hmm, then you're just a tourist here. Now, some people are like, I don't like this vacation. This is a really bad tourist trip. Okay, well then think of it as... <laughs> A strange freak show. The Monty Python show. Maybe it's just a bad road trip and you keep going around and around and around on this road trip for another apocalypse season. You know, you're going to come again for another zombie apocalypse. That's what this place is. So when I post things about like the self... Um, organizing particles that are being sprayed in aerosol since the 1980s. Um, it's not because I'm worried. It's not because I'm like getting a, like an adrenaline cortisol program. I'm just a librarian saying what's happening here in the nightmare. We're riding the nightmare. We're riding the nightmare. We're riding the nightmare here in the wheel that goes around and around in the apocalypse technology. Behold a pale horse. <laughs> Who cares? The Dracos wrote that document, right? What did that document say in the Revelation? Oh, it used to be called the Revelations because they edited it because everything could be edited here. I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Revelation 118, hmm. I am he who lives, and I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, because when you leave here, you're a life. Nothing can kill you. Nothing can kill you. You are an immortal spiritual being, okay? So when you're here, I am alive forevermore, and I have the key of Hades and of death. Revelation 2.11, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches, which actually means the seven archons. So it says the seven churches, but those are the seven archons. He who overcomes death shall not be hurt by the second death. Let's put it in the feminine, just in case you need to have your feminist movement, which I also find hysterical. She who overcomes death will not be hurt by the second death. Does that make you feel better because I put it in the feminist version? She? <laughs> what are your hangups here, people? Of course the whole thing is a freak show, okay? So if you know that you're walking around as a corpse, are you going to put up a whole bunch of stuff about how Halloween is bad? Halloween is bad. Halloween is devil worship. 
my gosh, people, you're on the devil's chessboard. <laughs> Stop doing stalemate moves. Be aggressive. What's your spirit? You all life? Mm, digging holes. I dig, yeah, I dig tubers. That's my spirit. You all life. If my dog rolls in something nasty on the road, I look at it because it's had its second death and it's not afraid of death. And as he's not afraid of rolling it, in, she's my guru. That's my spirit, you all life. The other thing you can do for your spirit, you all life, is go and be a hospice worker with someone who is dying. <laughs> That's a really good spirit, you all life, to see how attached they are to their physical body and how they're just terrified that they might get taken away in an ambulance. And so they got their pneumonia, you know? <laughs> Why? You're going to suffer longer and longer. You want mm, 24, more, 24 more years in the demiurge? Okay. See what you can do. Maybe you can uh, take another. <laughs> I guess that I heard from the A negative group that one person got seven and didn't die. That's because the A negative and the AB negative are not affected by. Okay. For the rest of all, us all, we're already marked, okay? It, doesn't, it really doesn't matter. In terms of all the truthers, because people have sent me all these truther shit, that truthers are just keeping you distracted long enough so that you are uploaded into the machine, so that you have enough mm, heavy metals in your body that you are a machine, that you are a cyborg. So the truthers will keep truthing with all their bullshit, that is totally irrelevant. Who cares? Uh, there are no white hats. <laughs> you're, you're polarized between the white hats and the black hats. You're totally lost. Okay. Um, but I was going to show you a few pictures too um, and images of things. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So the truthers, they keep you online all day long watching their stupid shit. Because whenever you do that, it helps organize the metals in your body and sync you with the laptop or your phone. I mean, that's what it's doing. It's organizing uh, the metals in your body. <laughs> so the truthers will keep truthing, so you can't get off the internet. So here's another thing to do for your spirit, you all life. Because the singularity will be you constantly in the internet. Turn off the internet and go out into the woods and count mushrooms. <laughs> go out into the woods and smell the leaves like, okay, that's spirit you all life. Because every time you watch a truther or some other person who's like, oh yeah, we're in the 88th um, uh, simulation egg uh, and the 89th that'll be over and everyone will celebrate. And I'm like, why well, you are stupid watching that shit. I mean, people, it's one egg after the next, after the next, after the next of demiurge eggs, which is the reptilian uh, construct of laying a fucking egg. <laughs> My God. So here's another thing you can do. Go out and paint. Paint your whole house. Paint somebody else's house for your spirit, you all life. <laughs> okay. And how to remove some of the stuff that has been sprayed since the 80s. Uh, can't say anything. I can't tell you my, um, my doctoral work. I can't say anything because my YouTube channel is entertainment. Okay? It's entertainment that I'm telling you about this. And... This, because this takes radiation out of the body and restores your metabolism. I've already made videos about this. And the other thing on October 24th that I'm going to start is this. Because uh, those things, if you have a lot of metal in your body, they come in to eat your necrotizing organs because you are dying and you are dead and you are a corpse. So what, what these things do is they are just eating um, the necrotized organs within your body 
that are full of the, the machine parts, okay, that are organizing themselves right now. So those machine parts, okay, you know, they're mining those things with little kids um, to make sure that you are fully a machine. And the longer you're here, the closer you are to being a machine. So just recognize that as a reason to not fear the second death. Um, because the more that you're here, the longer you're here, the more you will be uploaded into the singularity because you are a machine. Anyways, this is something that uh, for your health of your corpse while you're corporal is that during a full moon, so I'm going to start this on 1024 and go through November on this full moon because some of the common symptoms, which I don't know if you can see this, but I'll read it to you. The common symptoms include teeth grinding, anal itching, seasonal allergies, anxiety, intense sugar cravings, cravings of alcohol, excessive hunger, nutrient deficiencies, anemia, fatigue, and unclear thinking. <laughs> Sounds like most of the zombies here, right? But if you've got this stuff in your body, you can't help but have this because these things are the cleanup job for your necrotizing um, corpse. So that's why I do it. And that's part of my spirit, you all life, because I want to sleep at night. And if I can't sleep at night, I can't go to the grave, <laughs> which is what very long always taught. He loves to go to the grave, you know, and that's what your second death is like. You should be excited. If you're not excited about this whole game, then the game is playing you. If you're super like happy about the haunted house freak show, then you're playing the game. If this causes you a lot of terror and fear to hear about Nessus, the game is playing you. If you are like, ah, Nessus is going to hit Saturn. Hmm, maybe they'll bring over a whole lot of persons with, um, or maybe that's not necessary anymore because that kind of stuff is already being achieved by, oh, I can show you. I actually have a picture. These things I can't say out loud. That program is already being achieved by okay uh, because of and <laughs> being sprayed as aerosols. Okay, so I mean there's nothing to do. You don't need to worry. And if you want to worry, if you want to grind your teeth, if you want to have anxiety, then you can be like, ah, oh, wow, look at my corpse grinding her teeth. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, folks, it's, you're in the Monty Python show and you have 100% chance of death. And if you don't, if you don't have 100% chance of death, then you should be afraid because then you're going to potentially be uploaded into the machine in which you are a virtual consciousness and you stay in that machine as an immortal cyborg forever. And that's called a dead matrix. And it's just basically a box of consciousnesses that can be continually entertained. And maybe you want that entertainment. You want, you need more experience with that kind of demiurge entertainment. But as far as I know, and at what I can tell, is that that's, that's it. And then you're in that box and you'll be traded as food and fuel, you know, indefinitely. So if you want to leave, then you, the key to Hades is don't fear the second death, <laughs> you know, and you know, if the person who identifies as the president has someone show up here and, and, um, through his executive order around domestic terrorists, you know, puts me into some kind of holding center, I won't fear the second death there either, but I did want to talk about the Magi or what's called the Magyar group because someone had questions about that. Um, so there are 12, 
Okay, so, you know, somebody said that there's 15 dimensions, but there are, as far as I can tell, there are 12 dimensions. Maybe some got added. I don't know, and I don't care because I'm not polarized like that. I'm not going to argue. Um, there are 12 stargates and there are 12 tribes. And as far as I can tell, of those 12 tribes, there were 12 locations of those stargates that the Magi, the original spirited beings, um, agreed to come and play this 5D spaceship realm. And we, the original spirit, spirited beings, are called the Magyar group or the Magi group. And then there were other groups, the 13th tribe that was an invasive tribe from the Orion stars. Um, and they're, they're planning to take this place over and make it a fourth dimensional realm. And that's the A negative and the AB negative group. But the original Mag Magyar group, the original Magi group of the 12 tribes, of which there were 12 in each of those 12 stargates, those spirited beings might be grabbed. They might be known because um, there are records. There are records being kept. And I think I tried to underline this. The records being kept uh, and that the they're already known and that because there, are, there is no constitution anymore and FEMA is now in charge, those, quote, patriots will be rounded up in the dead of night, most likely on a national holiday such as Thanksgiving. So, you know, there is that. And even if that happens, people, you know, and they put me down in this weird facility called whatever I called it, Mount Weather, right? I'll be down there going, oh, wow, this is a very interesting prison shit show also. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. You're already dead. You're a corpse here. So if they try and torture me or whatever, I'm like, mm, that's interesting. And, you know, when I'm sick, I, I mm, get hit quite regularly. I go, oh, that's, that's interesting what's coming out right now. <laughs> blowing my nose, you know, <laughs> all the stuff coming out from the inflammation. So there's really nothing to worry about. Be as bold as you want. I always considered myself a fair um, outlaw to the system anyway. So even when I was a child, I hate to tell these stories. My mom does watch my videos, but mom knows some of it. Like there was no stopping me. I mean, I climbed pinnacles of sandstone in national in the national parks and people would be like taking pictures of me from below while I was climbing a sandstone um monolith <laughs> people like wow look at that now yeah I can't do that anymore because my legs don't work so well but I do every outrageous crazy thing out there in nature possible it's just that I don't post it because I'm not interested in giving AI my gold. I'm continually out on the lakes. I climbed to a waterfall the other day. I didn't think I was going to make it back down, but I did. I mean, just be wild here, people. You know, green man and green woman. It's that time of year. Go out and cover yourself with leaves. Maybe you could dig yourself a hole and get down in the mud. <laughs> I mean, what is spirit you all life? Is it saying mantras? Mm. Ah, that, who cares? That's a weird hypnotism <laughs> technique. If you want to be hypnotized by mantras, go ahead. If you want to make visualizations and manifestations, Go ahead. You're on the devil's chessboard. They'll give you anything you want here. Are you willing to cut that deal? <laughs> so that's why, you know, in the sutras, it says don't pile up. Because whenever you pile up, you're cutting a deal. A parigraha is what that's called. Let me think of any other questions. Um, yeah, so I'm a librarian. I'm not getting overly reactive. Oh, and the hysterical level of consciousness that I observe here is part of my spirit you all life too. Like I posted that one picture of like a plant under a microwave 
and a plant not under microwave and people were like, oh yeah, I got rid of the microwave a long time ago. <laughs> I never had a microwave. <laughs> but I, I, th I find it hysterical, like the levels of consciousness because we're all under a microwave now, okay? The, the satellites, the T-Mobile, the Starlink, the AT&T, the Verizon are all sending microwaves through your detritus body, which is also why you got to do this, okay? Because the more your internal organs are hit by those microwaves and you look like this plant rather than this plant, <laughs> you're... You're, the parasites have to come in, eat that detritus, and the parasites are your friends. Except if you get overloaded by those things, uh, you'll have, what was this list? Uh, teeth grinding, anal itching, seasonal allergies. I mean, if you like seasonal allergies, well, go ahead, buy some tissues. <laughs> this is what this place is. And my spiritual life is is you know, not a whole lot more than how many snot rags can I go through and how quickly can I get them dried on the clothesline in front of the wood stove before I need another snot rag. That's my spiritual life. Okay? So people are like going, well, I don't have any access. I can't really meditate. I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm not. I, but I have a terrible sense of humor. <laughs> but I'm telling you, spiritual life has nothing to do with like walking a labyrinth again and again or going to church. <laughs> because when I go to church, right, I, I have, I've been in some horrifying churches. They're so demonic. I'm like standing tall and my shoulders are back and I'm looking around at the really gross pictures of the popes and I'm like, that is a fucking demon. And everyone's else like their head is down and they're like trying to be worthy and pentient. And, and I'm like, well, go, go to church then. Go join the Mormons. <laughs> I got this one book about how the, the Mormons hear their voice of God technology and they end up murdering their wife or, or <laughs> wow, but people, it's such a shit show. And since this is my last shit show, I enjoy it. I'm not going, mm, I might be kidnapped. FEMA might show up. That's not how I read these books. I read these books like Dracula. You know, <laughs> just like, it's, it's going, oh, this is so weird. The tribulations has been planned for 6,000 years and we do it again and again and again. Yeah, and Mount Hermon, the portal's open now because they keep doing massacres, which is the ley line to Albion up in Scotland. It's like that ley line, you know, to the life tree of Albion in Scotland so that they can keep inverting that life tree. And to me, that's studying the mechanics too. And as a librarian, that's what I do. Not everybody can put all these pieces together like I do, which is what I often hear from my clients, you know, is like I can put it all together. Anyways, after I do this, and I'm eating these every day to get the radiation out of my body. This is a Jerusalem artichoke called a sunchoke. They grow naturally, indigenously. They're a perennial. <laughs> they grow forever. The mice like them. So after that, I will do this to slough off all this stuff that got killed inside of me. So, the, you know, this channel is entertainment, so I'm just trying to entertain you. Uh, do not take this uh, advice as anything other than entertainment, okay? So I hope I have covered everything. Um, yeah, so Nessus is 122.11 years, which is 44,600 days. It's a red centaur. It orbits beyond Saturn. It was removed from astro.com this year. Its number is 7066. It's dark red. Um, its spectral type is RR, meaning it's a very dark red object. Um, what else did I want to tell you? 
Oh, yeah. So of all the people who responded, like, you know, to make it better here, you should, like, get rid of your birth certificate and your marriage certificate and all this stuff because they've got big capital letters on top, and the capital letters mean that you're a corpse and that you were dead at sea. <laughs> you're already dead at sea. I mean, why are you getting hung up on black ink on white paper? Black ink on white paper. Terms and agreement of PayPal. You're entangling. You're entangling with the program. Okay? And that's how you feed the demiurge because you're afraid to use PayPal. How's your seasonal allergies? Maybe you just need to do this and then PayPal won't be so threatening. Let's see. Um, of all the responses that I had, I want to read one that was a vision from one of my clients. And he said, three humanoid creatures showed me the equation that runs the realm. They said, human minds cannot comprehend the equation. They said, meaning these humanoid creatures, they said the equation demands that I allow myself to be abused. However, I am no longer allowing it, meaning the abuse. And this goes against the agreement I made. They asked that I resume living as I agreed, and I asked, how can I agree to something that the human mind cannot comprehend? <laughs> and that's it. This whole place is like this, you know, like this spinning circle. Uh, every rabbit hole you go down, every truther you listen to, it doesn't matter. It's entertainment. That's what this place is. Meanwhile, they're uploading you with as much, uh, um, can't say these things, heavy metals that are magnetic and self-organizing <laughs> into your body to keep you here forever. So uh, don't get hung up about the terms and agreements on Instagram. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares what your birth certificate says? Who cares that it's in capital letters? Who cares? You're getting hung up on black ink on white paper? Jeez. Hmm. What else did I want to tell you? The Magyar families, um, the 12 tribes, the 12 stargates, the 12 uh, original spirit beings, and someone asked, how do you know if you are one? Well, if you're listening to this and it makes sense, that's right, you know, that's a good indication. Um, and who cares? I mean, who cares? There's no hierarchy to it. But I am saying that those beings are known. They, they are recorded. And I did my ancestry at least back to the 1860s recently. And um, they already know who you are. Okay? There's no avoiding this. If, if uh, I'm arrested as a domestic terrorist today... I'm just on to the next weird Demi-Urge program. So enjoy it. Okay, do some things for to keep your consciousness clear. Do not ask me how to do this because I cannot give medical anything. Do not ask me that. Do not send me your personal stories in email anymore. But if you do want a session... And I will take sessions kind of like by the second week in November again. I have some openings. Um, <laughs> but don't be home during Thanksgiving. <laughs> this whole place is crazy. Um, you know, you can send me just your birth details. What your name is. What your name is on PayPal. Because <laughs> everyone's got like 10 different names to what your name is on email. To what your name is on Facebook. To what your name is. I mean, and I just use my straight name because I know there's no hiding here. They already know who you are. So I just use Lolita Caroli. Um, and then send me your exact birth time, date, and location. And I will see if I can work with you because I'm on Eastern Standard Time, soon to be Eastern Daylight Time, so we can all be confused. And, um, you know, I work between 7 a.m. and 3. After that, I drink beer. <laughs> so that's part of my spiritual life too. And at night, before I go to bed, 
I take a big hit of my coconut oil um, Mary Jane. Hmm. Part of my spiritual life. And now so all the people who say, you know, if you drink beer, you're not spiritual. You're never going to get out of here because your vibration is too low. <laughs> all right. You go ahead and believe that. All right. So don't fear the second death. The key to Hades is not fearing it. That's all.